that has to happen in order for you to learn how to win if there's no mistakes being made then there's nothing to correct does that make sense no cap no bad Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, Jay Yaw family. Before we start, shout out to everybody that's part of Nodi Gang. If you're part of Nodi Gang, drop a Nodi Gang down in the comments and let me know if you're part of Nodi Gang, bro. Y'all know we extremely lit. No cat. Now listen, you guys see from the title, I got a few things to go over today. So without further ado, let's jump into this video because I don't want to keep y'all waiting. You feel what I'm saying? First things first, in order to learn how to willy in general, in order for you to get better and grow, you have to fall. You have to fail in order to grow, bro. People will t literally tell you, like, they would give you all these tips and advice on how to willy, but they will never tell you that. You have to fall. I'm the only one, bro. Literally the only one. You're going to hear say that. But that has to happen in order for you to learn how to willy. If there's nothing to fix, how does how do you get better? How do you make it better? If if you don't fall, you don't fail. If it's not broken, then you can't fix it. That's why you have to fall. You have to fail. That has to happen in order for you to learn how to will it. I swear to God, that has to happen. Some point in time, you're going to fall. You have to fall so you can correct the mistakes that you made that caused you to fall. If there's no mistakes being made, then there's nothing to correct. Does that make sense? There's no mistakes. It's not broken. Don't fix it. I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with it, right? I don't care what nobody says. Like I said, I'm the only one you're going to hear say you have to fall in, in order to learn how to willy. That is a fact. That's why I told you. That's why I always tell y'all, like, I'm going I'm going to bring y'all the details that people don't, don't tell you. I'm going to give you the real real. And that's a fact. But let's move on though. That's number one. Number two, this is very important when it comes to learning how to wheelie a dirt bike, motorcycle, quad, four wheeler, whatever you're wheeling on. This, this, this is very important. You have to be patient. You have to take your time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Nothing happens overnight in life. Like, like you don't go from zero dollars in your bank account to a million dollars overnight. That don't happen overnight, bro. You don't go from 250 pounds to 150 or muscle overnight. It don't happen overnight, bro. It takes time. You got to be patient. You have to trust the process, bro. You got to trust the process. You got to put in hours and hours of work. These are the keys to learning how to willy. They're not. Nobody's going to tell you this. Nobody's going to tell you to be patient. Take your time. Put in the work. This is what's needed, bro. I swear to God. This is for all my people who don't know how to really yet. Take your time. Be patient. Put in as many hours as you can. The more seat time you have, the better. If you're not out there putting in the work, it ain't never gonna happen. This goes with everything in life, bro. Whatever you're trying to do, bro, take your time. Be patient. Trust the process. You're gonna see the results. And once you start seeing the results, it's going to make you want to go harder. It's going to make you want to grind harder, bro. I swear to God, you're going to be like, dang, I, I got this far. I'm going harder. Sooner or later, you're going to go from chasing them willies to straight up and down 12 o'clock, scraping the fender, bro. You scraping on these hoes. You know what I'm saying? You see the baddie with the fatty? You going to drop back, scrape? Oh, you immediately picking her up off of that right there. Especially if you drop back and give her the look. You just look like you drop back, scrape the fender, and give it a look. Game over. Three strikes, you dropped back, scraped the fender, and gave her the look. That's three strikes right there. Game over. She's getting on. That's a fact. Just take your time, though. Be patient. Trust the process. You're going to be on 12 o'clock in no time, bro. I swear to God, bro. Take your time. Let's move on. It's the last one I have for you guys. In order for you to really, really grow and get to that top level 
rider, that top, that the top tier of William, you literally have to take risk, bro. Nothing in life is worthwhile. This is what Denzel said. Nothing in life is worthwhile if you don't take risk, bro. If it doesn't involve you taking a risk, it really ain't worth it. You gotta push beyond what you think you're capable of. You gotta push beyond your capabilities. A lot of people put a cap on what they think they can do, and that's holding them back from a lot of things, bro. When, when you do that, there's no room for growth. You, you go to that limit and that's it. There's no more room for growth. That's why you got to always think that you could always do more. You could always get better. You, you got to have that mindset that you there's always room for improvement, bro. You can never be satisfied, comfortable with where you are. Always think that you can improve some type of way you can get better. That's why when I'm out there, I'm like, bro, I need to learn something new. How can I improve? I always go back and look at old footage. I promise y'all, that's that'll help too. Looking at old footage, looking at some of your footage. If you record your willies and, and, and actually sit down and analyze what you're doing wrong, you'll be a lot better. Learning how to will is gonna take you out of your comfort zone, period. In order to get something you never had, you gotta do something you never did. And that's take rest, that's drop back further. That's stop being scared. You gotta stop being scared, bro. It's crazy how real life situations kinda go hand in hand with William. Like you gotta take risk, you gotta take your time, be patient, trust the process. You know, you gotta get out of your comfort zone. Like it's crazy how they go hand in hand like that, but it's, it's true. That's why it takes people so long to learn how to really because they don't go out there and put it in the work if you can't get out there a lot like some most of these other riders like me i can't go out there every day we got seasons we got you know winter you know what i'm saying fall can't go out there all the time like people in florida cali and stuff like that so i mean if you can't get out there as much when you do get out there, you got to go twice as hard, bro. But to sum it all up, these things have to have to take place in order for you to learn how to will it, bro. And I just wanted to share these with you. Write them down. Memorize it in your head. Share these with a friend. But this this is what is going to help you, bro. I promise you. Listen to me. Listen to just do a trade. I'm telling you. I can't. I'm not going to lie to you. So take this information. Put it to work. And I'll see you next Sunday. Peace. Thank you.